Hi, welcome to Aircord Anything. Today, I am going to be making a tool out of an existing tool so that I can torque down a 38 millimeter flywheel nut. Now, if you've got a slightly performance engine, like the one I'm currently building, uh, you need a slightly better than average flywheel nut so your flywheel doesn't fly off at high revs um, or hard acceleration and uh, destroy everything. Now, I always do my flywheel nuts using Torquemeister tool, which you have a gear that attaches and goes against the flywheel, and then this multiplies it by nine, I think, so you can turn it round and torque the nut down. And I think this nut has to go to 350 foot-pounds, so that's a, a lot of torque. Now, of course, you can just put it on the floor with some sort of support and get a uh, a heavy duty torque wrench and torque it that way, or you can torque it by, via guesswork. Um, I don't like guesswork and I can't afford a torque wrench which goes up to that sort of um, size of torque. I mean, they're super expensive. But I have got an old one of these, which for some reason I had a lot of problems with and never really used to work that well. So I bought another one which turned out to be exactly the same, which works. So I don't know what was up with this, but what I'm gonna do is I've bought a 38 millimeter deep impact socket, which costs like eight quid. And I am going to chop off the top of this and weld this on. And hopefully I will make a Torquemeister which will work with these bigger 38 millimeter flywheel nuts. Um, just so I, I, should, I should mention that the uh, stock ones are 36 millimeter. So what I've done is I've just simply laid the new socket against the Torquemeister and I've decided to make a cut round about here, cut this section off, then I'm going to cut this socket which will, it's a deep one so it will create a tube and then I'm going to simply weld on this to this. You can see I've already scribed a line around both of these, very rough, and I'm going to get an angle grinder on this and uh, attack it, cut it, clean it up, weld it, and we'll see if it's gonna work. Hopefully this is gonna work. There you go, not the uh, prettiest looking of tools. Uh, if it survives and withstands the pressure of the torque, uh, then I'll clean up those welds and I'll probably just give it a paint in satin black to make it look a bit prettier. But uh, pretty um, ugly and very crude. Hopefully it's gonna do the job. So just converted 36 millimeter torque master tool to 38. But the proof is in the pudding. So here goes, let's see if this works. But um, previous experience with this, this tool, I knew whether it was going to work or not straight away. Um, it used just to slip. See it's slipping. That's what it did before. So it could be this gear here. Um, and I have a brand new one of these gears. So I'm gonna take this gear off and put the new one on and see if that works. So I put the new gear on um, and you'll see that it's a slightly different color. Uh, maybe you can't, well you can actually. Um, slightly different color to the, the, this older tool 
and the teeth are slightly different profile, not so flared at the, at the, at the base, and it fits more snugly. The other one was a bit, was a bit looser, um, so it wasn't quite fitting properly. Um, and then I put it on and I thought I'd press, press record, and I hadn't pressed record, and I talked it down. Um, so I will show you me talking it down. Um, I just took this thingy off, the locking device. I should have checked it was recording. So I put it on like this, hold it in the center, and then there you go. 38 foot pounds, this end, 300, well, 38.8 foot pounds approximately, nearly 39, 350 foot pounds at that end. And when it works, it works well. So the tool works, which is fantastic. Well held up. I mean, they're pretty heavy duty. I have my MIG, I have a Arctic MIG, and I had it on full power. Um, and it would, you know, you could see it was it was welding well, not very pretty weld. So I'm going to clean this up now, um, and I'm going to paint it. So if I ever do another racing gland nut, I've got a nice looking tool to use. Um, super happy. So it turns out um, when I talked it down, um, I used the old gear, which came with the old tool, and that's been the problem all along. If we look at the teeth. These teeth on the old gear are slightly fatter and a different profile, slightly flared at the base. And that's why they're slipping. They're just not bedding in enough and it's just it was just slipping. So it wasn't me all these years of me speaking to my friends and they're saying, oh, I use a Torquemeister, it's brilliant. And I'm like, oh, I've tried using that. It's rubbish. I can never get it to work. It was actually, I had a dodgy tool. A bad workman blames his tools, right? <laughs> um, but now I've got a new tool um, that works brilliantly well. So I will put this new one with, uh, um, sorry, this new 38mm one with my 36mm one, and I have got a Torquemeister for every flywheel hopefully I'll ever need to do again. Anyway, thanks for watching.